Hey guys, this is BMW OSS and I have a tutorial today on how to make your videos widescreen in Sony Vegas. Now I'm using Sony Vegas Pro 8, but this also works in Pro in 9 and 10 and uh, everything's pretty much in exactly the same place. So don't worry if you've got 9 or 10, it works uh, just the same. All right, so um uh this is First of all, hang on, the video just get okay. Uh, I'll open up a Sony Vegas here. Um, it takes a bit of time to load. I'm using a laptop, which means it's a, it's a little bit slow. And uh, I'm sorry about that. Um, anyway, here we go. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to open up the video. And we are... Well, first of all, you'll see that uh, the video is... A, well, you'll see how long the video is, of course, in the timeline. You'll see that the video screen is actually a little bit uh, small. It's not a wide screen yet. It is just, uh, it's, uh, it's sort of, I think it's, uh, it's not necessarily 4x3. I think it's like, I'm not sure the, the exact di the, uh, dimensions, but it's not big enough for widescreen. So we'll first change that by going into File, Properties, and then we can change it here in the um uh you'll see what I'm doing here I'm bringing that down and you just want to get it to like 720 by 575 I think it is um and it, it's PAL I, d I don't really know if that makes a difference just test around with it but uh, yeah you just need to select one of those um alright so once you've selected that uh, click OK. Uh, you want to set it, oh by the way you also want to set things to uh, best render quality. This will take a little longer but uh, the quality you get when you finally finish your rendering is a lot better. OK so click OK there and the you will see that the screen uh, widens. Yep. Sorry. <laughs> but when I do click OK, none of this you really need to change by the way. OK, you see the screen widens. Now the screen is wide so it's necessarily it's pretty much a wide screen but it is uh... it's still got black lines on the side um... black bars as they're called and uh... these look very ugly and we don't want those either we want it to be a wide screen so those black bars need to go um... i'll just get a better example for you here so it's not all the background isn't black as well here we go uh... as you can see the black bars there and we've also got that uh, ugly blue stripe on the side which uh, appears when I record using my capture card. So what we're going to do... Oh no, not, not here. Hold on. Um, hang on. <laughs> okay, we're going to... Uh, we're going to right click on our video. And we're going to go down to properties. And where it says maintain aspect ratio that's what we want to untick so untick maintain aspect ratio um, and that should stretch the video okay okay there we go the video is now stretched yet we still have black lines above and below the video um, which we want to get rid of and we still have that ugly blue line so we'll be getting rid of that very soon uh, to get rid of that we want to go down here and where it we've got the it will say crop we just click crop it'll open up the cropping window and you can just uh, sort of zoom in I suppose or which is essentially cropping and that'll as you can see on the side it is uh, removing removing uh, the black lines and so you get that uh, in a position which you think is best um, and then you just click X. So I'm just getting a good position here to get rid of that ugly blue line on the side and the black lines above. Alright, there we go. Um, cool, so now we have a widescreen uh, video um, stretched. It doesn't actually make the video look very, like, overstretched when you maintain it, uncheck maintain aspect ratio. And we've also got rid of the ugly black lines and that blue, weird blue line. Okay, now we're going to render. Now, uh, rendering will take a bit of time because, well, my video is quite slow. 
<coughs> you want to save into WMV. WMV is probably the best file to save uh, your video as. Um, and f before we render, we're going to go into um, uh, we're going to go into the sort of the temp the templates, and you're going to go custom template. And we're going to pick one which is it should say here. I can't. Uh, my Sony Vegas goes all sort of blurry when I zoom in before it's been rendered, so I can't actually read what's said there. But just copy on your screen what I'm doing here. So um, it should should uh, be a larger, a better quality uh, render sort of template, I suppose. You can make your own templates, by the way. There we go. And then you just click save and rendering. Don't worry if rendering takes like a like half hour, hour, two hours, depending on the length of your video. Uh, it should take that long. Just make sure you render in uh, WMV because that's the best in my mind, anyway. Okay, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you later.